Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. College visits for March continue today when the reps from the Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design visit. Lamar Community College rescheduled their visit for Wednesday, March 21st. We expect more visits this month, so stay tuned, but mark your calendar for this first April visit with the reps from the Black Hills State University in South Dakota who want to chat with you on Thursday, April 12th. Speaking of April visits, the U.S. Air Force Academy admission team will be here on Tuesday, April 24th at 6.30 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium to tell you all about the Academy, life as a cadet, and how to navigate the application and admissions process. Recent graduates will be available afterwards to answer any questions you may have. This event is open to all students and parents. Students enrolled in AP classes. The window to order and pay for your AP exams is open now. Pick up your order form and contract from your AP teacher and be sure to have your teacher initial your form. All payments are due to the business office by March 16th. Remember, it is never too early to start shopping around for your next academic step. Be sure to have the pass from the Counseling Center. The 2018 African American Youth Leadership Conference will be held this Saturday on March 10th from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at Colorado College. To attend, sign up online at the link on the Counseling Center webpage. Remember, the conference is free for students. Seniors, you're running out of time to get your photos to Curie Carmody for the yearbook and senior slideshow. Please send them to her email and make sure that the photos are of graduating seniors only. And finally for seniors, it may be a little too early to talk about Senior Awards Night, but the Counseling Center would like to ensure seniors receive proper recognition. They're asking for seniors to bring in all college acceptance letters, scholarships, grant award letters, and military scholarships and awards as you receive them, even if you do not plan to accept them. See Ms. Abeda in the Counseling Center for more information. And now let's check in with Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today we're going to have lasagna, and tomorrow we're going to have chicken sandwiches and cheeseburgers and all that fun stuff. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. The Pennies for Puppies campaign has been extended for two more weeks. Student Cabinet is seeking donations of gently used towels, blankets, dog and cat toys, and of course cash money is always welcome. Donations will be collected in advisory classes and get this, the advisory class that brings in the most donations will earn a pizza party. The campaign will run until next Friday, March 16th. We are starting a new segment this month. It's called Senior Spotlight, where we introduce you to a WHS graduating senior. Check it out. My name is Natasha Hudson. My favorite high school memory would probably be going on trips with the choir. It's my favorite high school memory because we always have a lot of fun. My favorite teacher would probably be Miss Snoop or Miss Blunt. They're my favorite teachers because both of them have helped me through a lot. I'm going to college at Colorado State University Pueblo. I chose this school because I got accepted. Uh, I plan on studying history. I plan to become a history teacher. One piece of advice for future seniors would be never feel sorry for the way you feel. Tune in next Wednesday to see who else we get to meet. We'll be back after the Gladiator Sports Update with fundraising information. But first, we're throwing it to Marissa Trujillo for some sports news. Wednesday morning, lads. I'm Mr. Citra Hill with your Gladiator Sports Update. Juniors and seniors, Powder Puff time is just around the corner and Student Cabinet is getting teams ready for this year's Powder Puff game. Starting next week on Monday, March 12th, if, if you would like to participate, they need players, cheerleaders, and coaches. See Ms. Mountain in room 103 to sign up and pick up your permission slips. Permission slips are due by March 23rd. Student Senate is also looking for some strong warriors for the Warrior Games against Fountain Fort Carson. If you would like to sign up, please see Ms. Mountain in room 103. Let's keep our winning streak going. In forensics news, Lauren Wadsworth earned herself a trip to Florida this summer to compete in, in the National Forensics Tournament. She won this honor by becoming the best speaker out of all Southern Colorado school competitors and being crowned as a district champion in program oral interpretation. Congratulations, Lauren, and best of luck to you this summer. Now turning to baseball news. The Varsity team is on the road this weekend. They'll play Falcon on Friday in Falcon at 4 p.m. They will also play on Saturday at 10 a.m. against the Coronado Cougars at Coronado. And remember, the baseball team is holding their Flapjack fundraiser this coming Sunday 
March 11th at the Applebee's on Highway 8587. Buy your tickets today from any baseball player or stop by the main office. The cost is $10. If you'd rather catch some soccer instead, the ladies' soccer team squares off on Friday night, right here at home against the Sand Creek Scorpions at 6 p.m. Come out and help the ladies kick off their season. In track and field news, our track team travels to the Pikes Peak Invitational at Gary Berry Stadium on Saturday morning. Come out and watch our glads leave the competition in the dust. And finally, in basketball news, our Lady Glads are dancing in Denver tomorrow at the Final Four, where they will square off against the number six Evergreen Cougars. Tip-off time is 5.30 p.m. at the Denver Coliseum. If you signed up to go on the activity bus to Denver, your signed permission slips and money are due to the business office by noon today. Remember, the cost is $10 and the bus leaves promptly at 2 p.m. on Thursday. Remember, after Our Lady Glass defeat the Cougars on Thursday afternoon, they will advance to the final championship game on Saturday in Denver. It could be an all WSD3 final. Go get them, ladies. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes in their practice and games. I'm Marissa Jahill. Now back to you, Hannah and Ethan. Thanks, Marissa. Several departments are joining forces to host the first stream night ever at WHS. Stream stands for Science, Technology, Reading, Engineering, Art, and Math. Join us on Tuesday, March 13th at 6 p.m. to check out robotics and computer programming projects, engineering feats, apes upcycled projects, participate in stargazing activities, view some student art, pursue the book fair, and so much more. If you made it, we're going to show it, and there will be a scavenger hunt. Come see your friends' projects and stay to vote for your favorite displays. The library is having a book fair next week starting on Monday and running through March 16th. You are invited to stop by at lunch during advisory with library pass and after school to check out the books available. They will also have other items besides books for sale. Go check it out. If you signed up to donate blood, remember to return your permission slip by tomorrow to Miss Melton in room 103. If you do not return your consent form, your donation slot will be given to another student. Sign-ups are closed for now. Ladies attending the military ball this weekend. There are still a few appointment times to get your dress from Becca's closet. See Miss HK in the library or Miss Molina in room 111. The WHS Theater Department Bake Sale continues after school this weekend in the Science Hall to support the Adams Family production. All baked goods are under $2, so stop by for some tasty treats on your way home. And speaking of the theater department, opening night for their production of The Addams Family the Musical is this Thursday night and runs through March 10th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets are $7 for students and $10 for adults. Come see all of your favorites, Gomez, Marticia, and Wednesday sing and dance their way across the stage and into your heart. The SPED department would like to invite everyone to come support their Spread the Word to End the Word campaign today in the small gym. Stop by during lunch to sign the banner to pledge to and using the R word and support the Special Olympics. And finally, here is a shout out to some of our amazing teachers. My name is AJ Gavin and my car park tickets for Miss Ford because she's kind, fun, funny, wants to give us a good education, is super nice, loves a lot of our students and her class the best part of my day. My name is Kenneth and this power ticket goes to Mr. Bergen. He is how a teacher should be. He is like a second father to me, and I'm more than happy to call him the coolest teacher. He's the one that really makes my day, and so I award him this power ticket. And finally, a cool and gender name is Heinz, and she is a heavy. His teacher, she is heavy. She is heavy. He got class. Remember, if you would like to thank one of your teachers, just fill out the power cards outside of the attendance office and we will do the rest. That's all for our news today. Students, remember, we have a half day tomorrow and have the day off on Friday. Teachers, you should probably be here on Friday. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great rest of your week, and good luck to our Lady Glads tomorrow afternoon. Don't stop, believe.